Hey, Veena here from digitalaccesspass.com. In this video, I'll show you how you can insert your order form directly on your sales page. So you don't need to have a separate checkout page anymore. You can directly insert your uh, checkout short code on your sales page and your checkout form will appear directly on your sales page and it does not need to be on a different uh, checkout page. All right, so let me show you how to do that. So this is my sales page and I'm inside my editor. I use Thrive Architect as my page builder plugin. So this is my Thrive Architect editor. And so here, say that this is my sales page and uh, I have my video at the top and I have all my sales content here and say that I want my order form, my checkout form to appear right here in this area. Here's how you can do that. So visit SPC Manage Checkout Page to add a new checkout page. Click on Add New Checkout Page to get started. It will bring up a page like this where you can enter a name for your checkout and click on create. It will create a new checkout page by that name or enter the URL of your sales page where you want the order form to show up. So here I'm going to select this page uh, because this is my sales page. So I will select this page as my checkout page URL and click on next. Next, select a payment method. So let's say we select PayPal and credit card. These two checkboxes are ticked and then click on next. One step or two step, let's say we select two step checkout and select an order form. Let's say we select the first one and then go to click on customize to go to the customizer page where you can customize the different options. So as you can see, it says your checkout URL is this. So this is my sales page and now this is my checkout URL as well. So I don't have a separate checkout page for the specific product. So it's going to be sold on the sales page directly. So I have selected that. Now I can customize the look and feel of the checkout page here. So you will see a style customizer. There are many options here. And uh, then if you want to make updates to the second tab, then just click here. It will show you the next tab, which is the payment information tab. And then you can click there to update whatever text you want to update or anything else you want to change, you can do that. And uh, if you want to display additional fields on your checkout page, then there is a field customizer right here. You can turn it on and off if you want to display certain fields. And so for example, you want to go back to the contact tab, to the contact information tab, and you don't want to display the billing information, you can turn it off and you will have a really short checkout form. And then you can also add terms and conditions if you want and everything is click and edit. And if you don't want it, you can have it go away. If you want to display custom fields, then you just need to add custom fields in DAP. It's going to show up under the custom fields under the additional information section and you can simply add them to your checkout form. And then um, if you don't want it, you can turn it off and it will all go away. And now you have your checkout form, save it. It's going to give you a short code all you have to do is take this checkout short code and insert it on your sales page where you want the order form to appear. So let's do that. So now this is my sales page and I just want my order form to appear here. So I'm just going to insert the short code that SPC gave me right here on my sales page in this area because I want the order form to appear here. And then I'll just go ahead and save it. So now if you visit your sales page, it's going to look like this. And as you can see, the order form is appearing here. That's where I had inserted the SPC shortcode for checkout. And you will see that it's going to display a message at the top that says cannot access it directly. It should only be accessed via a payment button. So next step is to generate a payment button. And after we generate the payment button, all we have to do is insert the button ID as a shortcode attribute of your SPC checkout shortcode. And let me show you how you can do this. So next you have to create a payment button for the product that you want to offer on your sales page. So to do that, visit SPC Buy Now Buttons page, click on Add New Button. To add a new payment button, SPC is made for DAP. So you're going to find a list of all the DAP products here. You don't have to redefine your products in SPC because it can pick up all the products from DAP automatically. Also, um, you can give your payment buttons um, any name you want because you can have more than one button to sell the same product each button with a different offer. So the button name will help you identify each one of your offers for that same product. All right, so here, let's say this is the button name, then select the product that you are planning on selling on your sales page. It will pick up all the details from DAP automatically, and then you can update the description if you want. Click on next. And then if you want to offer an order bump uh, payment options, then you can do all of that here in the second tab the bump offer payment plan tab. Uh, if you don't want to offer anything else on the checkout page other than the main product, 
then just ignore this tab and then move on to the next one. It says customize the product details. Now this part is going to appear at the top of your checkout form. If you don't want this part to appear, then you can just turn it off. You can say, I don't want to show the product header and just turn it off. If you don't want to display the coupon section, uh, then you can turn that off as well. You can say, I don't want to display the coupon section. But if you want to display that, then the customizer is right here and you can customize the different options. And then moving on to the checkout page, select a checkout URL. Now your sales page is going to be your checkout page for the specific product. So just select the checkout URL right here at the top. And then now you have the preview. Now you can see the preview of your checkout form. Click on next. Do you want to offer an upsell? And we haven't created an upsell offer, so we'll just say no here. Enter the URL of your landing page. Where do you want to send the people that complete the purchase successfully? So you can send them anywhere you want. Then click on next. And uh, on your sales page, if you're going to have your own payment button, then you can ignore step one. But if you want to use an SPC payment button for your sales page, then you can customize the button. All the customization options are right here. Next, where is your sales page? And you can enter the sales page URL here. It's only used for tracking purposes. And then next, are you going to be testing this in Sandbox or live mode? For testing purposes, you can uh, set Sandbox and then all the purchases will be made uh, using your Sandbox credentials, which you can enter in the SPC settings page in the Sandbox tab. Then go ahead and save it. And now you have a payment link. So all you have to do is take the SPC button ID. So this is the button ID that you see here. Right? So take that and then go to your uh, sales page. Now edit this and just insert this right here. So all you have to do is button ID equals that. So only that part you need to insert here. This way the checkout form will know what product is being sold there. So the button ID will tell the checkout form all the details about the product that's being sold on that form. So that's it. Just go ahead and save it. So before I was seeing this message on my sales page where it said, sorry, can't access checkout page on its own. It should only be accessed via payment button. So later I created the payment button and I added the button ID to the checkout short code. So the order form now knows what product is being sold on that order form, right? So now if I visit the same page and I refresh this page, it's no longer going to show me this. It should no longer show me this message because it now knows what product is being sold there. So as you can see, that message disappeared. So let's complete step one. Now here I'm logged into DAP. That's why some of the fields were pre-filled. And now I can complete the purchase. One place your order, and it should take me to the thank you page. So as you can see, it's really easy to recap. Uh, first thing is you have to create the checkout page. When you create the checkout page, then select your sales page as your checkout URL. So instead of creating a new checkout page, just enter the URL of your sales page as the checkout page URL. And then uh, you can customize the template and go ahead and save it. Now, when you save your checkout page, it's going to give you a short code. And all you have to do is insert the short code wherever you want on your sales page. Next. Next step is to create your buy button like you usually do. So the exact same process like before. Only thing is when you're creating your buy button in the checkout page tab, uh, make sure to select the right checkout page URL. And if you're going to be using your sales page as your checkout page, then make sure to enter the URL of the sales page. So here I selected my sales page as my checkout URL because that's where I'm going to have the checkout short code. All right, so then in the last tab, when you save, the settings, you're going to get the bear link from SPC. And so you will get the button ID right there. So copy this last part, uh, button ID equals the button ID, and then just insert that on the sales page where you have the checkout short code. So after the checkout ID, give a space and then enter the button ID equals whatever is your button ID, and then just save it. So now the checkout form knows what product is being sold because you entered the button ID right there. And that's all. Hope this helps. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.